Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. This week's video is about the new firmware update for the Olympus M1X, which has bird detection autofocus. Now Canon, Nikon, and Sony have or similar software in their cameras. And so Olympus is a little bit playing catch up with this, but I think this software works pretty well. And I'm gonna go through a little bit about how to set it up and a little bit about how I use it. If you are an Olympus user and you wanna download this software, Peter Forsgaard has a really good video about that, so check that out. If you're a Canon, Nikon, or Sony shooter, some of the things I say about how I use this will pertain to you, and I have about five or six tips for how to use bird detection AF. So bird detection autofocus for the Olympus M1X, and most of the pictures that were taken in this video are going to be taken with the M1X and the 300 millimeter F4 Pro lens, and all except one of them included the 1.4 teleconverter on that. So I took these down at a local park in between storms this week, I uh, found some uh, common mergansers, and here's what the software looks like when you're shooting. The first thing that happens is you get this white box because the camera autofocus system is determining that there is a bird right there. And then the next thing that happens is you get a bigger green box. And the green box means that it knows it's a bird and it's starting to focus in on it. And then smaller green box when it tries to find the head or the eye of the bird. So that's kind of how it works and how the camera is searching for things. Here's a picture of a dark eyed jungle, 160th of a second. And you can see that it's really sharp here. So I'm hand holding the Olympus 300 and the M1X and using bird detection AF and it really works. How do you do this? You first want to go in and download the software, load it on your camera, and then you're going to need to activate it. And so you want to go into menu A1 and make sure that you're using center autofocus tracking. You just select it, press OK, and it's set. And then you want to go into A3 and you want to go subject tracking and you want to put it on birds. Okay, that's all, that's all there is to that. And then you can start getting images like this. So I think this software is going to be really good for people who occasionally do bird photography or who are very beginners at bird photography. The next thing that you want to do when you're using any of these, whether it's the Canon, Sony, Nikon, or Olympus, is you want to make sure that all the autofocus points are active. It doesn't work very well if you don't have all of them active. It also works really well if you start on bigger, slower moving birds, because there's a tendency to kind of try to fight the autofocus system. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But try bigger birds first, get used to the software. Another point here is whatever camera brand you have, whatever they call it, put your autofocus sensitivity so that it's sticky, so that it stays with the subject and it doesn't move off the subject very much. And so for Olympus, that is continue autofocus sensitivity at minus two. And so if the bird goes behind a pillar or behind a boat or a tree or a branch or something, the autofocus will pick it back up really quickly. And this did work. And several other people have tutorials where they tested this out and it worked really well. But put your sensitivity to uh, sticky mode or in, in the Olympus case, minus two. Now, here's what it looks like when the autofocus is trying to find the bird. You get this reddish um, symbol, and then it picks up the bird and it goes white, and then of course it goes to the green box again. What I found was that I was fighting the system. So I am so used to moving the camera around and getting the autofocus point on the eye by moving the dials and moving the autofocus point around with the joystick, but also by moving the camera around. And if I'm moving the camera around and the autofocus system is moving the focus points around trying to find the bird, it, it doesn't work. So give the camera time to find the bird. Hold, hold the camera steady and let the autofocus system work so it can find the bird. And it does a good job of finding the bird. Once I relaxed and I gave it a chance, it found the bird in lots of different situations. I had a chance to test the autofocus with the bird swimming straight towards me and the, the bird detect autofocus system picked up the bird really quickly and I got some sharp images. And of course, here's a common merganser female swimming by and it's always easy for autofocus systems to pick up anything at a 90 degree angle like this. 
Sometimes the green in focus box will be quite large, but it's finding the bird and it's searching for the bird and it's getting down to the head or the eyes of the bird. If you're having trouble getting the focus points where you want them, tap the focus button to restart the autofocus process. And then sometimes the autofocus points will get on the bird faster or get on the bird's head or its eye. So try tap focusing to help the system out. One one hundredth of a second, really slow shutter speed. Birds moving a little bit, so I got some wing blur, which is nice. But the face and the eyes and the feathers are tacked sharp in the front. And then here's a female mallard. So you can tell by the last few images that you can get really sharp images with this. I think if you follow some of these suggestions, you, you give the autofocus system time to do its work, you hold the camera steady, you have all the autofocus points active, and practice on larger, slow-moving birds first. Nice light, larger bird, super easy. Lots of people are going to be able to get better bird images just by having this camera. Um, upgrade in this firmware. If you already have this camera, this is free. It's a free upgrade. No, it doesn't cost anything. If you don't have this camera, they're on sale right now, I think. So you might want to check into that. Hey, if you want to learn more about bird photography, check out my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and a trade paperback. It really is the complete field guide for beginning and intermediate photographers and birders. I have put everything that I know about bird photography into this book. And if you're interested in going to Bosque del Apache sometime in the near future, pick up a copy of my guide, the Bird Photographer's Guide to Bosque del Apache. And also there's another bird guide out right now, the Bird Photographer's Guide to San Diego County. This one's 56 pages, I think. Everything you need to know to get really good photographs of uh, birds in San Diego. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.